This question is regarding the persistent factor and uh, this comes into the residual net income. The broad idea here is that uh, when you have an income, residual income, but the residual income uh, is decreasing at a constant rate. Now just to understand one thing, if you say that something is decreasing at a constant rate, it will keep on go uh, going small but it will never reach zero. For example, if somebody, if you, th if you say that something uh, reduces to half the next year, so it would start with 100, 50, 25, 12 point 5, 6 point 7, 5, 3 point, 3 point something, 1 point 5, then 0 0.75, then 0 0.7, so it will keep on decreasing, but then I will reach uh, zero. So in, in, in that terms, when you are given uh, the growth rate and the persistent factor, then you have to use both of them to uh, find out uh, the right answer. In this question, uh, uh, the problem here is to calculate present value of continuing residual income. For the next two years, we expect ROE to be 10% and required rate of return to be 8%. Current book value is 100, we pay no dividend after this percent factor of 40. So after two years, so uh, uh, the, the trick here is that after two years, it will uh, decline with the uh, percentage factor. So for the first two years, it's not going to decline. So present value of the first year then present value of the second year and then you have to use the persistent factor so when you use the percentage factor which is 40% uh, it, it, it becomes a geometric series so uh, the thing that you have to do is that for the present value of year 1 you calculate and from second it's going to decline so the first declining effect would come at the third year so uh, uh, what, what you are actually uh, doing uh, is that you have uh, uh, the, the rate that you are looking for required rate of return is 8 percent uh, for the next two years ROE uh, return on equity is 10 percent uh, we have already used that now this 8 percent you have to subtract 0.4 and then you have to uh, bring this again to today's date so uh, uh, this 2.2 is uh, the income that you will have uh, uh, at, at the third year you you bring it down you think that you get at the second year and you you bring it one year back so that the present value of 4.98. So uh, the present value of first year would be this. The present value after that, the only trick here is that this residual income could be of 3 because when you bring it back down to 2, uh, probably uh, you might face trouble here. So uh, when you start with uh, the third one, you get to the second point. So uh, they have given us that the present value of residual income is uh, 2.212. Uh, is equal to uh, and, and this is the formula that we have given and, the, and this comes out to be 3.98 and, and just after making the other arrangement if you observe 2.21.84 you're just subtracting that and and this is 2,2 and you get that uh, and then you add that so that that, that is a, a trickier part here so let me try to do this on the Google, we can still do this. So I'm just trying to uh, calculate that formula to make sure which one is right. But anyways, you can try this out. So the idea remains that uh, in just in the place of uh, growth, uh, you will use uh, when you use R minus G, uh, you will use uh, the formula uh, the uh, the growth you will uh, stop so in place of the uh, growth you will use uh, W so uh, rather there is no growth here so it would be R minus W so that's how you are going to look at it so this is how you are going to look at it and there are some other questions that you can check let me just check the numbers for you this comes out to be 1.95 let me check this probably some problem with the bracket ok yes this comes out to be what we are looking for so if you closely observe here this 222 divided by 1 upon 0 0.8 minus 0 0.4 then you bring it all the way down so this is one way to do the questions of uh, residual income persistent factor